Welcome to Uruguay. I'm super, super sleepy right now because uh, we had a super long bus uh, car ride, which was supposed to last 10 hours, lasted 20 instead. And <laughs> it was so funny. We started like two hours and a half late. And then um, we were in the middle of a thunder thunderstorm. It was pouring with rain. And then the the girlfriend of the guy who gave us the ride, who was the owner of the hostel in Florianopolis, she forgot her passport, so we had to hide her <laughs> at the border control, hide her under our backpacks. Okay, now you have to be quiet. Yeah. But don't tell Do you me. want to come out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, goodbye. Welcome to Uruguay. <laughs> And then we found out we needed a green car to enter Uruguay and then we had to buy one. But it was five in the morning and there was no open place where to do it. But we made it and it's super cool and we're both super sleepy and that's why I'm going to bed now it's almost two in the afternoon and it's the perfect time for a long nap. from Brazil I would have never expected that but we're in a in a little tiny fisherman village and all the st streets are full of sand and the houses they are so nice that they're awesome the little wooden houses I would really love to move there and it's it's cool it's super cool we both love it we are both excited <music> in the morning it was supposed to be 9 30 but this year Uruguay decided not to change time <laughs> this is really a beautiful fisherman village look <laughs> it's so cool I love it we'll stay one night more here yeah I came to Amai because you said to notice how this is different from Brazil like the jungle behind the beach is gone and yeah you see some green here but there is not much green in general there are mainly just very long sand dunes and very long and deserted beaches as well like this one and I love it I love it as much as I loved tropical beaches with the jungles behind Woo! <laughs> That's, so per That's perfect! <laughs> we just walked to this beach which is one of the four beaches in, uh, in Punta del Diablo this is called Praja Grande and we found this this kind of wooden cabin someone someone built it for us and have a book the empty beach nini swimming there and yeah 
it's this is gonna be a great morning Woo! Morning. We're leaving Punta del Diablo, this amazing place, which I love so much. And now we're going to Cabo Polonio, uh, which is not not far from here. It should be like one hour. We're going by car with the same guys we came from Florianopolis with. Hopefully, this journey is gonna last a bit less, and it's gonna be a bit less complicated. Uh, yeah, Capo Polonio is a super cool place where there is no electricity at night. There are lots of sand dunes and sea lions, and I'm so so overexcited about it. Um, and yeah, I got a new T-shirt. I got a new T-shirt which was given to me as a gift by Ellie, a German girl I met in Florianopolis. <laughs> yeah, so nice when people give you gifts. Yeah. Like the stick. Ah! 